as I mentioned previously, we are not technically installing this railing in the traditional manner. All of the videos online that I looked up were all for the traditional way of installing the railing, which is installing the railing first and then the balusters second. So I need to come up with my own method. We started by laying the rail on the stairs in between the two knoll posts. Then I used painter's tape to mark where the balusters were located. I used my oversized level to check to make sure the baluster was plumb and then marked that on the painter's tape. Once all the balusters were marked, it was time to move this party back into the garage. Next, it was time to mark the center line of each baluster. Now that we have all of the center lines marked, I'm going to flip it to the underside. And now I'm going to mark the center line of the rail, the center lines for each one of the balusters where we're gonna be drilling our holes. So this is gonna start looking a little bit like a grid. This part was a little bit tedious, but we got through it. Make sure that you double check the measurements between each of your center lines to make sure that they are evenly spaced. Your rail should look like this. Each cross section marks where we're gonna drill. For our first railing, we just drilled straight. That was really easy. That's not the case for this because our railing's gonna be at an angle, right? So if we were to drill in straight, it would not be at the right angle. The balusters are gonna be going like this. We have to cut into this railing at an angle so that it will properly align with the balusters and they will stay plumb. I have a couple different ideas on how to make a jig for this. So we're gonna just see which one works the best. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for part 22 and follow along for more home DIY.